It's March the 15th, and today is opening day of spoonbill season in Missouri. Pat and I are going to meet Anthony here, and Anthony is going to be doing some testing of equipment, and also he's going to use two boats this year, and the boat that we're in today he has not used for this purpose before. So we're kind of tagging along while he checks out all this equipment and gets ready to start his guiding service tomorrow. We also plan to do a little jugging for blue catfish, so come along with us. We're waiting on the dock while Anthony goes up the lake and picks up another friend of his that sometimes helps him in the guide service. And they're on their way back now. This is the other boat that Anthony is planning to use this year. Anthony uses all new tackle to start the season with every year. And so what they're doing now is getting ready to check out all of that equipment to make sure it works properly. The first thing they did was tie three large sinkers on each rod to stretch out the line and make sure the drag systems are working properly. You'd think they were trying to tear this equipment up when you watched them pull these large sinkers along on the bottom. These are the divers and hooks that they use for snagging. Once they were satisfied that the tackle was working properly, then they assemble the divers and hooks and we're getting ready to go. Once the snagging equipment was ready to go, we decided that the first thing we would do is to see if we could catch some blue catfish on jugs. But without any wind, we weren't very optimistic. After searching a while, we finally found some bait fish and a few catfish in a flat just off the river channel, and we decided to try there. We only fished a little over an hour with the jugs because we weren't catching much. We caught three or four small ones and the only fish of any size we caught was this one. And it would have actually been too big to keep if we had been keeping them because it was in the slot limit. So we decided that was enough jugging and we headed out to see if we could find some spoonbill. We had a difficult time finding any spoonbill at all, and so we went to another location and we found several of them, but Anthony wasn't happy with the size of them. So we went to the third location and we found what appeared to be a larger spoonbill, but there wasn't very many of them. But uh, Anthony decided to go ahead and give them a try anyway. How far do you figure they go down when they're playing? I've not really seen any fish right here. I mean, well, there's a few. Yeah, there's a, there's a, these fish are running like 30, 30 feet. So it's usually about three times. So about 90, but then you, like these here, kick to go left and right. Mm -hmm. We ran two rods on each side of the boat.
spoon bill is hooked, all the other rods have to be reeled in to avoid tangles. Man, that thing's way out there, isn't it? Take this while I'm filming. Tricks he got in the box. Don't you think the lid was on that? Yeah, Go on.
Okay. They say like 8,000 oh. pieces, so you know, make sure they don't get tripped out of the boat. <laughs> I've watched some movies on that just there, some oh, videos on it yeah. just lately on the electric ones running down and how much time it saves. I'm going to buy one of them LPs. Hog tied him, Jerry. Yeah, I know it.
After a brief discussion, we unanimously decided that we'd had about all the fun we could have today. So it was time for us to go. Anthony decided to use this boat when the weather was suitable to do that. And when the weather is inclement or cold, he'll go back to using his other boat that has a cabin to protect you from the rain and the wind. Well, this was a great time. We want to thank Anthony for taking us all along and treating us like he did. He's a fantastic guy and he knows how to catch those spoonbills.